God looks at public policy and says, that's not good. I can't bless that. That's good. I can bless that. So it's by public policies, how they conform to his standards. And that's what you see with Elijah. You remember when Elijah confronted Ahab and Jezebel? He said, you guys, because of your wicked public policies, you brought a curse on the nation. And he, and he called out three things particularly. He said, religious persecution. You've been after the Lord's prophets. You've been trying to persecute God's people. He said, on top of that, you eminent domain. You took Naboth's vineyard. It didn't belong to you. That was private property. You went in coercive, eminent domain. You shouldn't have done that. And by the way, you've been, you've been suborning perjury in the courts of justice. You've been corrupting the justice system. And he went through all the stuff that Ahab and Jezebel have been doing and says, this is not acceptable. Now, it's significant that within that, he said, because of that, we're not going to have rain for three and a half years, which is saying weather's involved in this thing. Now, that's interesting. I wonder if weather is a direct result of the righteousness or unrighteousness of a nation. And certainly, if you look in the Bible, and if you want to do a study on weather in the Bible, you will see how often weather is attached, good weather is attached to righteousness, bad weather is attached to unrighteousness. And so you find example after example in the scriptures, whether it's drought or flood or famine, whether it's rain or hail, excessive rain or, or hail or fire, what, there's just all these examples uh, of that. Now, you know, do we believe that today? Well, I don't know, but it's in the Bible. And it's an interesting thing to me that polling wise, Today, more than half of Christians say that they think God does a really lousy job of handling the weather. <laughs> what if the weather is dependent on what we do? What if, what if a lot of the weather, maybe we do a really lousy job of handling the weather? You know, just, just a thought, just something to throw out. But certainly that was what we see in the Bible with, with accounts like Elijah and Ahab and Jezebel. So you, you have the, the righteousness that exalts a nation. Now, let me ask you a simple question. What do these major record-setting events have in common? Number one, the 10 costliest insurance events in U.S. history. Number two, three of the four largest tornado outbreaks in U.S. history. And number three, the two largest terrorism events in U.S. history. What do all of those have in common? The answer is they all occurred within just days after America took a stand against Israel and told Israel she needs to give up her land. Ooh. Now, you may not believe that, but there's three interesting books out there that show the correlation of whenever we take a bad stand toward Israel, we seem to have a natural disaster that happens, an unusual natural disaster. That, yeah, there's always bad weather. Yeah, but these are really big bad weather things. I mean, these, are, these aren't the small kind of things, these, these natural disasters. So just something interesting to think about.